Welcome to AI Tools in Action Series 1 Episode 2. Today, we will use Midjourney to help us design our website and create a logo for it. Let's get started. Part 1, PageFly. Step 1, open the Shopify App Store and search for the PageFly app. Alternatively, you can use the link in this video's description to open the app directly. Click on Add App to install it on your Shopify website. Follow the instructions to complete the installation. Step 2, after the installation is complete, the PageFly dashboard will be shown. Click on the Page menu and choose Home Page. Click on Create from Template and choose the desired template. Click on Select Template to use the template. Step 3, choose the banner image and open the Styling tab. On the background image, you will see the image ratio. Let's generate cool images to change all template images using Midjourney. Part 2, Midjourney. Step 1, open Midjourney Discord. If you don't have a Midjourney account or you don't know how to use it, watch my tutorial video about it. You can find the link in the description. Create an image to change the main banner image. You can use my prompt and edit it to meet your needs. Step 2, after you have the best image, save it and crop it using an image editor. Step 3, convert your image to a transparent PNG using AI background remover. You can use remove.bg, Canva, or any tool you want. You can find the background remover link in this video's description. Step 4. Go back to the PageFly design page, select the image, open the styling tab, and press the select button under the background image section. Click upload from computer and select your transparent image. Click select to apply it to your design. You can change its position and size from the more settings menu. Step 5. Repeat steps 1 to 4 for all images. I put all my image prompts in this video's description. Just copy and edit them to match your needs. Part 3, Edit Template. Step 1, change the design and text as you want. You can always find the object size, color, etc. from the Styling tab. Step 2, after you have finished, click Save and Publish to apply your design to your live page. Part 4, Add Animation. To make your website more interactive, you can add animation to each part of the design. Step 1, choose the website part you want to add the animation to. Select the Styling tab and go to the Animation section. Step 2, choose the animation for when the object is shown from the when display option. Choose on mouse over animation from the when mouse over option. Step 3, repeat steps 1 and 2 for all objects you want to give animation to. Click Save and Publish. Part 5, Cleaning up Shopify Basic Theme. To manually delete and use Shopify Basic Objects, follow these steps. Step 1, Go to the Shopify Admin Dashboard, click on Online Store, then on Themes and Customize. Step 2, Delete and used banner, product holder, and footer sections. We will change the footer section on PageFly after this. Click Save and Close. 
Step 3. Go back to the PageFly design page, click on the plus button at the bottom to add a new section. Select the free shipping option and choose your desired templates. Change all text to replace the deleted footer menu. You can also hide icons if needed. Change the background and text color to match your design. Step 4. After finishing editing, link all menus to your pages. Open the General tab, go to Click Action and choose Go to URL from the menu. Click the Select URL button and choose your page. Save and publish the changes. Part 6. Website Logo Design To design a website logo, follow these steps. Step 1. Use Midjourney to generate a logo for your website. You can customize the script to match your needs. Step 2. Go to the Shopify dashboard, select the Themes menu, click on Customize, click on the Theme icon, select Logo, and upload your logo. Click Save and Exit. Part 7. Globo Menu Step 1. From the Shopify dashboard, search for Globo Menu, or use the link in this video description. Step 2. Install this app and select the free plan. Step 3. Click on the main menu and change its name and target link. You can also add or remove submenu items. Step 4. After finishing setting up your menu, you can change the color, font, and other appearance options from the side menu. Thank you for watching. In our next episode, we will be demonstrating how to create products using AI-generated images and add them to our store. We hope you'll tune in for that.